Hi, I'm David from Roland and this is the Juno X. Now many of you vintage fans might recognize the design since it's heavily based on the classic Juno 106 from the 80s. But this is not just about appearance. Now the Juno X comes preloaded with a wide range of classic synths inside the synth called model expansions. So not only do you get the look and feel of those synths, but also the character of the sound. Now on top of this, it's also equipped with our newest and highly versatile Zencore sound engine, which makes it possible to exchange sounds between the Juno X and other Zencore instruments, like our Phantom series, the Jupiter series, the Xenology software plugin, and a whole bunch of other gear. So let's have a listen to how it all sounds. Now these are just a few from the thousands of sounds included. Uh, we'll start with a nice Juno X model, synth EP, and I've assigned slider 1 to control the filter. Now the Juno X model has several new features including velocity parameters and a super soul waveform, while still remaining true to the Juno spirit. Staying on the Juno X model, we'll go to a nice bubbly bass. The Juno X model is of course great for pad sounds too. But of course, we can also press the magic Juno Chorus button and get it even nicer. Now let's move to another completely new model, which is the Juno 60. So here's a nice Juno 60 bass. And a Juno 60 pad. And of course, the Juno 60 also comes with these classic kind of ice cave sounds. And then of course, we have the Juno 106 engine, which you may already be familiar with. And here is a classic synth brass. And here's a vintage style Juno 106 arpeggio.
And here's a kind of 80s pluck sound. So that was the Juno based models. However, as mentioned earlier, the Juno X is not just for Juno sounds. It also comes with two additional models, which are the XV5080 sound module. RD Piano. And even more model expansions can be added via Rolling Cloud. But of course, since the Juno X is based on our extremely versatile Zencore engine, it also includes a huge menu of Zencore sounds. But of course, if you're more of a sound designer, you can of course create your own sounds really easily with the Juno X because of the very logical panel and signal flow right here. We have our oscillator going into the filter and finally into the amp and also our triple envelope here. So we're starting with an initialized patch and it sounds like this. Just a raw square wave. Now I'm gonna start adjusting this and try to make a quick uh, synth bass sound. Okay, so I'll start adjusting the pulse width. and then add a little sub bass. Run it through the filter. Add a little bit of a filter envelope. Maybe some key follow on the filter and some noise. And now we have a basic synth bass. Now, let's see if I can quickly turn this synth bass into a pad. Something like that maybe, but we also need some reverb. And very important, the Juno Chorus Magic. Maybe play with some aftertouch as well. Okay, let's now see if I can turn this pad into an organ. Hmm. 
So that was my uh, vintage synth organ, and now let's see if we can turn this into a lead. So that's how easy it is to turn a synth pad into a synth lead. Now, finally for the sounds, the Juno X also has a really sweet built-in vocoder. So in the last example, you could hear me split the vocoder with a pad, and that's thanks to the scene memories. Now, similar to the Jupiter X, the sound architecture of the Juno X consists of scenes. A scene is a complete setup of the four melodic parts plus the rhythm part, which lets you do a quick recall of things like layers, splits, arpeggios, drum beats and sequences, controller settings and a lot more, with a simple patch change. For instance, here's an XV5080 EP layered with a Juno 106 EP. And here we have some Juno 60 keys split with a Zencore synth. Scenes can also contain other useful settings. For instance, you can create velocity layers, meaning parts will play or not play depending on how hard you hit the keys. Finally, scenes can even contain full five-track sequences, drum beats or arpeggios. And you can actually hear this combination in the intro. Speaking of arpeggios, the Juno X also has something very special, previously only found on the Jupiter X. And that is our unique intelligent arpeggiator, or iArpeggio. Now, the iArpeggio senses the rhythm of your playing and will create an arpeggio pattern based on your own real-time playing rhythm, which can actually result in some really cool phrases. Like that. 
But the IR arpeggio can also be distributed differently across multiple parts, giving you complex combinations that play off of each other, like this. And perhaps we want some drums to back this up. Well, for that, I'll quickly just jump into our step edit mode, which allows classic TR style step sequencing. And yes, the Juno X also includes a lot of vintage Roland drum machine samples. You can record these with a step sequencer or in real time, like this. And there's my drum beat. Now let's play this all back together. And now, that is all part of my arpeggiator setup, and all of it will be stored into a single scene memory. So, as you can see, with all of this functionality and versatility, the Juno X makes for a very inspiring instrument, both on stage with a direct control and in the studio, thanks to the built-in USB audio and MIDI interface, and even on the road with its built-in speaker and Bluetooth audio streaming. And if the thousands of built-in sounds aren't enough, there's an impressive collection of expansions available via Rolling Cloud, which can be imported even more easily with a wireless Cloud Connect adapter. Once connected, I can use my phone to browse through the huge library of sound packs, and then, when I find one I like, I can load individual new sounds straight onto the Juno X. And here is a step filter sequence. So here's a pad. And here's a bass. You can also easily make your own sounds directly on board or use the free Juno X software editor. Then save your patches on a USB stick and also export them to other Zencore compatible Roland hardware or software plugins. And that's the Juno X. Check it out. Stop!